Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Lance with Speed and Chrome TV. Today we're going to take a look at a 34 Ford truck owned by Rick Flake out of Fresno, California. And this is just a really, really amazing build. All bare metal finished uh, with some really amazing pinstriping. Um, let's get into it. So a little backstory on this um, this feature here. Uh, back in 2005, I attended the Fresno Autorama, the uh, Black Eagle IGN car show. Um, probably everybody in California has heard of this show, and it's it's been going on for many many years. I don't think they're having it now. Blackie passed away a few years ago, and I don't. I haven't heard that they've continued the show, but it was a premier show here in California. Uh, Central Valley is where I live um, that runs from basically Sacramento to Bakersfield for those not familiar with the area is called the Central Valley and it was one of the premier shows if not the premier show of the whole valley um, I mean it rivaled you know the Oakland Roadster show and you know now we have the Sacramento Autorama which is kind of what the Oakland Roadster show turned into you know there's the LA Roadster show there's some very significant shows in California but Blackie show was always uh, really amazing and i'm not for positive but i believe it was an invitational show so everything with there was handpicked by blackie and it was just like the cream of the crop so at the show uh i was invited down you know by blackie to cover the show for the magazine and uh so going through the show photographing the show and i come across this bare metal truck and i was just struck by the build i was struck by just everything about it was just really, really amazing. Um, it's obviously a, a homage to the Jimmy Shine, the Jimmy Shine truck um, that Jimmy Shine built uh, a few years earlier, and uh, Rick references that uh, in the interview that we did with him, and you know what inspired him and uh, how how it went. So. I'm going to read to you the article that was in the magazine, which was uh, issue number seven, if I remember correctly. I'd have to go back. Um, that's pretty bad. But it's been a long time. 2005 was, you know, 15 years ago at this point. So uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the article written by Ben Lorenz, uh, who was my tech editor at the time. And uh, it'll give you a little flavor uh, of the build. Um, it'll give you a little bit of flavor of of Ben's writing too, which I absolutely love Ben's writing. So uh, here we go. His, this is the story as written in issue seven um, about Rick Flake's truck. Inspiration. Sometimes all we need is a little inspiration to get us on the right track. Rick Flake has been a hot rodder the bulk of his life, but for whatever reason, he became put off by the high zoot movement of the 1980s and 1990s. I really wasn't sure until I saw Jimmy Shine's 34 pickup at the LA Roadster Show in June of 2003, Rick said. Recognizing the appealing rawness of Shine's ride, Rick found himself inspired to build another ride to add to those he had already built or owned. Finding the perfect project fodder is not always easy, but an inspired Rick found what he searched for at a popular internet auction house. Soon, a 1934 Ton and a half Ford pickup was on its way from Texas. One should be aware that perfect is a relative term here. The 34 is moderately solid, but a flatbed. But being a flatbed, it had slight damage in the back of the cab and the roof got caved in somewhat. No biggie. After all, that's what Bondo's for, right? Perhaps something got overlooked here. The drop dead gorgeous 34 is a bare metal rod. Now, there is a basic rule of thumb that everyone goes by. If your body work is poor, you blow flat black paint on it. Flat paint will hide a multitude of ugly. It is straight as a string. You can hose it with glossy paint, and if it's perfect, paint it black. But to run naked through, it has to be better than perfect. There is no way in creation to mask a single imperfection if all you're showing is metal. Do not try this at home, kids. This is probably a good time to mention that this is not a checkbook ride. Although a garage grown rod, it should be mentioned that Rick is not new to hot rodding or the game. 
he has been building his own ride since he was about 14 years old. And enough years have passed that at the time, a 14 year old could afford a Deuce 5 window. The truth is that there exists very little done on this ride that was not touched by the owner. The particular 34 not only was repaired, but the lid was lowered five inches and the whole thing channeled six inches over Deuce chassis. That would not be an original Deuce chassis Rick started with a pair of American stamping 32 rails and fabbed his own. When it came time for a mill, a 46 Ford gave up its heart. What else can be expected for this tradical, a whopping 239 inches at eight and a half to one compression? This little flatty got a full treatment. Three quarter ISKI cam, Smith heads, 397s on a Sharps intake, Mallory ignition, and a set of zoomies all out, all add up to this full house flatty. And of course, Rick's handiwork include, including the zoomies. Those 18 inch artillery reels are a shine design built again by Rick, then slattered in PPG medium blue. Well, even a bare metal rod can benefit by just a touch of color. Three of the most prestigious pinstripers in the Fresno, California area were called upon to pull lines on the little 34. Before the last line had been pulled, Jim, Jimmy Ogawa, Neil Averill, and Dale Offdahl had all worked their magic on this shine inspired creation. The other part that Rick does not take credit for is the tuck and roll inserts on the seats. That bit of handiwork is the product of Wall and Eads' upholstery. That done, Rick has a comfy place to park it while his naked creation is busy not being parked. All said and done, an inspired Rick Flake built himself a winner. But you don't need to take anyone's word for that. Ask Blackie Gaijian himself, who invited Rick to bring the little 34 down to the Fresno Autorama. I wonder how many bare metal rods have been shown at one of the most prestigious shows in the nation. Sometimes all the skill in the world is not enough without just a little bit of inspiration.
hope you enjoyed that feature on this build. Uh, I just wanted to thank you personally for supporting this channel. Please subscribe, you know, like, share, all that good stuff. Uh, it really means a lot, and our channel's growing. We're doing good, and we just want to continue to create good content, quality content, fun, you know, inspiring, educational, all that good stuff. So thank you again for all you do and supporting this channel.